Hello, and welcome to my next Executive Series video. Our topic is servicing. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is your first Executive Series video, please go back and check out the introduction. You can look at the video description for links to any supporting information or a summary of the material that we will cover. In my Executive Series, we have a standard agenda which covers four main areas. You can see those in the progress bar. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to get those three bonus questions. Our requirement, servicing, comes directly from 820.200 and 1345 sections 7.5.4 and 8.4. Servicing in five words. Required medical device preventative maintenance. If your medical device is reusable and it degrades over time, servicing may be a requirement for your product. If servicing is a requirement, then we have to define and outline all of the procedures, the testing, and the controls needed to do the servicing activities. In most cases, if your medical device requires installation, it would also require servicing. Servicing personnel have to be trained to the servicing procedures, and they also have to understand the customer's requirements. Service reports have to be fed into the CAPA process where they are tracked and trended. Service reports also have to be reviewed to determine if they are a complaint and also if that complaint is reportable. Service reports must be maintained. The records themselves must include the name of the device, the lot number, the services done, the person performing the services, the date the services were done, and any related test records or testing activities. How do I know this is working? Well first, if servicing is a requirement, I have defined and documented servicing procedures that are included in my device master record. Second, if I'm doing the servicing myself, if I'm providing the servicing activities to the customer, I have trained personnel who understand what they are doing and ensure that they meet the customer's requirements. And then finally, I'm maintaining service records, which are compliant and contain all the needed information. So how do I know this is not working? Well, first, when servicing is a requirement, I have no procedures for servicing, and those procedures, they aren't linked or identified in my device master record. Second, personnel performing servicing, they're not trained and they don't know what they're doing. Third, I'm not maintaining compliant servicing records. So those servicing records, they're either lost, destroyed, or just not available. Now for the three bonus. Is servicing required for our medical device? If we do servicing, do we do that servicing here on site in-house or do we do the servicing at the customer site? And then finally, where are the servicing records maintained and do they point back to the device history record? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.